In this video, we're going to explore an exciting new feature addition to 3D Coat in the Sculpt workspace, and that is the Reproject tool. What it does is it allows you to project detail from one mesh to another mesh. As you can see here, I have a higher resolution version and a low resolution version. But it doesn't just let you copy from one mesh to the other. It lets you copy all the detail from multiple layers onto a single copy. Let me hide this low resolution version. And I'm just going to name that copy. And as you can see, we have multiple layers here. And I can have 3D Coat project all of that detail onto this version. Actually, on this one, it was quite a bit lower, but I gave it enough resolution by either clicking Increase Resolution or you can click Resample and set it to an amount that will give you a similar amount of resolution as this. So if it's too low resolution, again, you won't be able to capture as much of the detail. So make sure that the one you're trying to copy to has sufficient resolution on it. This works in voxel and in surface mode. Let's go ahead and give this a try. I'm going to unhide all these other objects. The one I want to have selected when I use the tool is the one that's going to receive all the detail. So I have a copy chosen and I will scroll to the adjust section of the tool panel about two thirds of the way down and click on reproject. And in our tool options, you'll see some familiar options such as the projection method. If you've ever done any texture baking in the Retopo room, you'll notice how it's almost identical uh, to the bake scan settings dialog. So nearest snapping, it's going to snap to the nearest vertice. The outer snapping, it's going to snap to the outer mesh. By default, auto ghosting is checked. And I notice if you don't see anything, you may rotate your model in the scene and it should refresh. But I can see how it's auto ghosting. Again, just rotate about your scene and it should refresh. So I'm going to stick with near snapping. You can smooth all, which basically smooths the copy that you have here. Clicking on rules provides a written explanation of the tool set. This section here is for projecting for the entire mesh, but if I want, I can just go ahead and dive right in and start copying with my brush. As you can see here. Okay, so I'm going to undo. Now, Let's take a look at the preview of the outer shell and the inner shell. So the outer shell, the default value for both of these is 10, but with the outer shell checked for preview, I can drag the slider to notice incremental differences here. Well, I don't want anything popping through. The inner scan distance, I can check that. Again, scrub that, and you can see parts of the copy here still protruding through. So we kind of want to scrub that until we see very little, if any, of it. All right. So that looks about right. Now let's go ahead and click Make Reprojection. Before I do that, I want to consider whether or not I have vertex paint that I also want to project. In this case, I do, so I'll go ahead and check that, and I will click Make Reprojection. I'll go ahead and pause while it calculates. Okay, so we're done now. I can hide 
the bust, and all of these. And I can see it did a bang up job. So I was able to capture all the detail from the original bust as well as all the detail and color from these other objects as well. So that's a quick look at using the reproject tool in 3D Coat. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.